My dad was military, so we had to move the summer before my senior year in high school. I wasn't taking it well. Senior year is supposed to be special. Graduation parties, prom, senior pranks. Instead, my senior year became memorable for a far darker reason. One that still keeps me up at night. Once school started, I kept to myself, sitting in a secluded area inside, next to the cafeteria, before the bell rang. I didn't know anyone, so I figured why not? About two weeks in, I noticed it. One Monday morning, someone had drawn a doodle on the wall next to my chair. Next to the doodle was a speech bubble, like in a comic book. It simply said, hello. The doodle was basic. A circular head with black eyes and a big toothless smile, stick figure arms waving. I thought it'd be funny to write back, so I pulled out a sharpie and wrote, hello. That was all. The next day, I returned to my spot, and to my surprise, someone had written back. It read, nice to meet you, what's your name? Weirdly, there was no trace of my previous writing. I wrote my name, and thus began our correspondence. The person would ask basic questions, and I would answer. Whenever I asked anything about them, they simply wrote, I'm your friend. The doodle itself changed slightly each time, sometimes a thumbs up, sometimes a wink. I was amazed at how clean the doodle looked every time. I thought maybe the janitor was writing to me and painting over the wall to reply. The following Monday, Things got weird. That morning, the doodle wasn't smiling. It had angry eyebrows and hands on its hips. The text read, where were you? It caught me off guard. Did this person come back over the weekend to continue talking? I wrote back, it was the weekend, WTF? At lunch, I decided to eat at my spot. I looked over at the doodle, expecting it to have the same text from the morning but it had changed again. It read, Don't leave me again. Friends don't leave friends. I thought whoever was writing to me was either kidding or taking this too seriously. I wrote back goodbye with a sad face. That was the last time I replied. I avoided that area out of annoyance, hoping the artist would get the hint. I made a couple of friends and started hanging out with them in the morning. After a couple of weeks, I nearly forgot about the doodle, but then it came back. One morning, I opened my locker to find it completely trashed. On the back of the wall of the locker was that damn doodle, more detailed this time, with teary eyes. The text read, Why did you leave me? We were friends. Whoever this was had taken it too far. I told my new friends, and they wanted to see it. When I opened my locker, everything was clean. They thought I was messing with them, but I was unnerved. How did they do that? I grabbed everything from my locker and never used it again. The following week in second period, I got scared. I walked into class to see students gathered around my desk, talking frantically. Someone has scribbled all over my desk. You're a bad friend. In the middle of the desk was a squashed cockroach. The way it was killed made it look like the doodle. I spoke with my teacher and told her everything. She had asked me to show her the doodle, but it was gone from every place it had been. I had felt like a freak. People moved on from the desk incident after a few days, and I kept my head low. My friends were a good distraction as we joked around and talked about anime. I never mentioned the doodle to them again. Several weeks had passed without incident. I thought it was over, but there was one more encounter. During fourth period, I went to the bathroom. No one else was there. When I closed the stall door, there it was again. This time, the doodle was more detailed, screaming and clawing at its face. The words, I'll unalive you, was scrawled all over the door. I had had enough. I grabbed toilet paper and tried to wipe it off. The smear turned red, like blood. No matter how much I wiped, the red ink remained. It looked like I was smearing blood all over the door. My hand was covered in red ink. I ran to the sink, 
But the more water and soap I used, the larger the red stain became. It looked like my hand was bleeding. I grabbed a paper towel, but it just stained it. The stain made me run home. The paper towel had the doodle's screaming face in red ink. It took a long time to clean my hands completely. I now hated going to school. Every day I was scared of what I might find. The bathroom showed no sign of ink, red or black, but one day, at my second period desk, there was a note in the corner. I'm sorry, goodbye, with a small broken heart next to it. That was the last note I ever received from my mysterious pen pal. At the beginning of the next semester, I saw another student writing something on the wall where I used to sit. Was this my stalker? I went over to confront him, but then I saw the doodle, just as it had been. He was writing back to it. I wanted nothing to do with that, so I left. Three weeks later, that boy was reported missing. He just disappeared one day. One morning, walking to first period, I stopped to tie my shoe near my old spot. I looked at the wall. The doodle was there, but with another one next to it. I got closer and thought, that looks like the missing guy. The second doodle was screaming. The text above them read, do you want to be our friend?